Let's say you expected a certain router to become the AVG for your GLBP group. However, that did not happen. A completely different router became the AVG for that group. Why might that have happened? Well, let, let's think about the issues that could, that could cause that. Well, the router you expected to be the AVG doesn't have a higher priority. If it has the default priority of 100, then what breaks the tie? It is the IP address configured on the interface. The higher IP address wins. However, let's say you did have a higher priority. Did you remember to enable preemption? Preemption is not enabled by default. So therefore, even though it has the higher priority and you want it to be the AVG, if it did not enable its GLBP process before the other routers determined who the AVG was, then you will not take over that AVG role. You will be in standby state. You're going to have to wait, even though you have the higher priority. So preemption must be enabled, and you must have the higher priority in order to control that AVG. Who do you want to be the AVG? Make sure it has the higher priority. Make sure it has preemption enabled. In this example here, we want R4 to be the AVG, but it's not. And we can verify that with the command show GLBP. I want you to take a look at this output. It's broken into two sections. We have the top section, which is based on the AVG. And then we have the bottom section, which is based on the forwarders, the active virtual forwarders, the AVFs. So it's this top section I'm concerned about right now for the, the AVG. We can see that we are standby when we want to be active. Why are we standby right now? Well, we can verify here that preemption is disabled. We can verify that we have the higher priority. It's configured as 150. And the standby device, or pardon me, the current active device has a priority of 100. So it's supposed to be the standby device because it has a lower priority. 150 is higher than 100, but the problem is, is that preemption is disabled. So you want to make sure that we enable preemption. Configure terminal, interface, gigabit ethernet, 0 slash 0, standby, not standby, GLBP, group number 43, preempt. As soon as we enable preemption here, we'll see. Based on the fact that we have a higher priority of 150, we will take over that AVG role. We will become the active AVG. So active and standby here has nothing to do with being the active forwarder or the standby forwarder. No, it's about being the AVG. That's what this is about right here. So if we look at the output of do show GLBP again, we'll see in this output now that since preemption is enabled, we are now the active device because our priority is 150, whereas the standby device has a priority of 100. So right now, R4 is the AVG, and if something happens to R4 or something happens on the link connecting R4 to R3, that 10.1.43.0 slash 24 subnet, if anything happens to that, then R3 can become the AVG because it is currently standby. If we go over to R3, we'll see that. Show GLBP, and it is standby. You can verify the information here as well. Standby is local. The active router has this particular IP address, and that's its priority, 150. And our local priority is 100, which is the default. Always remember 100 is the default.